Uh, this is the reaction time for group A and group B. Now, what is reaction time? Now, this is an image that I have Googled. Now, how do you find the reaction time? This is a person dropping a ruler. Okay, so this can be a 30 centimeter ruler. So this person drops the ruler, and that's when you start the uh, stopwatch. And then when the, this person catches the ruler, that's when you stop the ruler stop the uh, stopwatch and then then you record the time so a group of people uh, of group a and group b each had a sample of 30. so you took a sample uh, it can be boys and girls of a of a year level uh, say these are boys and these are girls or whichever way and each had a sample of 30 and then the reaction time was recorded and this this is the statistics so for group a the lower quartile is 0.1 median is 0.49 and upper quartile is 0.65 for group b it's 0 0.5 0 0.65 and 0.9 now with this statistics so by looking at these two boxes we want to make a call that back in the population whether group a or group B has got a greater reaction time or less reaction time. Now, when you're looking at boxes, because boxes is what helps you to make the decision. First, let us look at the two medians. Okay, so the median for box A is 0.49, for group A is 0.49, and for group B is 0.65. So the first thing that we can see is there is a difference between the uh, median. So let us write the difference between the medians. Difference between median. Between median. And I'm going to call that as median shift. Okay. That is median shift. Or the difference in median is called, I'll call that as median shift. So that is 0.65 take away or minus 0 0.49 0.49 okay so let me write 0 0.49 properly 0.49 so that is 0 0.16 seconds okay so now the big question is whether this difference is big enough to make the call or make the statement that group B has a larger or greater reaction time so now the question is if or is or does does group b have greater reaction time than group a this is the big question that we need to answer now the problem is we are we have we are we want to make the call back in the population based on this sample of 30. okay now for that you can't just look at this statistics and say, well, group B has a greater reaction time than group B. You have to do some more uh, calculations before you jump to the conclusion. Okay. Now, to, jump, uh, to answer this question, we need to look at overall visible spread. The second thing that we need to calculate is the overall visible, overall visible spread now overall visible spread is a difference between the upper quartile visible spread is the difference between the higher upper quartile and the lower lower quartile okay now what does that mean so let me draw a dotted line here so this is the higher upper quartile okay so the group b has got a higher upper quartile than this upper quartile and this is the lower lower quartile so let me draw a dotted line this distance this distance between or the difference between this two is called overall visible spread okay so i'll name that as overall ovs in short ovs this is the overall visible spread the difference between the lower low to lower quartile and the upper upper quartile okay so that is 0.9 minus 0.1 so that is easy 0.9 take away 0.1 so the overall visible spread is 0.8 seconds okay now we are asking the question 
this median shift is how much percent of overall visible spread? So third question that we need to ask question is, the third question we need to ask, how, how much percent, how much percent is the median shift, the median shift of the overall visible spread. I'll explain the maths behind it. So let, let us do the calculation. So we're asking the question, this is how much percent of this? Well, that is point to find the percent. It is 0.16 divided by 0.8, okay? So let's use the calculator to get the exact answer. That is 0.16 divided by 0.8. Sorry, it is 0.16 divided by 0.8 which is 0.2. So this as a decimal is 0.2 and 0.2 as a percent is 20%. So we can say that the median shift, this implies median shift is 20% of overall visible spread. Of overall visible spread. Now what does that mean? That means for this box a to, sorry, for the median of box A, the median of box A is 0.49 and the median of box B is 0.16. So our question is, is this big difference? Is this difference big enough to make the claim back in the population that group B has a greater reaction time than group A? That was our question. Now, if this difference the difference between the median is only 20% of the overall visible spread means that if for this median to coincide with this median, this uh, box A has to move 20%. That's roughly what it means. Okay. So here we can say median shift is 20% of overall visible spread. Now, this is the rule that we need to remember. The rule is, this is the rule of a thumb, so the rule to make a claim, to make a claim back in the population, this is very important, back in the population. Now what does that mean? Back in the population means from the sample we are going to talk about the population. We want to make the call, we want to make the statement that group B, by looking at this, it seems that group B has a greater reaction time than group A. But to make the call back in the population that group B, that group B has greater reaction time, reaction time, then group A, then group A, group A, the median shift, this is a rule. The, okay, now before that, again, for group A with a sample of 30, that's also important, with a sample of 30, with a sample size of 30, sample size of 30. This is very important. The median shift, I'll write in short, MS, the median shift should be, should be over one third of overall visible spread. This is the rule of overall visible spread. Or in terms of percentage, or median shift should be should be more than how much person one third as a percent should be how much should be more than 33 and one third percent of the overall visible spread okay now what is the what is the result that we have got the median shift that we have got is only 20% of the overall visible spread. But the rule tells me 
that if you want to make a call with a si sample size of 30, the overall visible spread should be greater than, should be, should be greater than, over means should be greater than, should be greater than one third of the overall visible spread or more than 33 and one third percent of overall visible spread. Now you may, you may say, well, the lower quartile and the upper quartile are almost the same. Okay, so yeah, we can make the claim. We cannot, so what does this imply? This implies we cannot make the claim. We cannot make the claim. Make the claim that that group, that group B has greater, has greater reaction time, I'll write RS, RT, reaction time than group A, than group A, though, this is one thing that uh, you may wonder, though, what are we seeing? The lower quartile of group B is almost the same as up a median of group A, though the lower quartile of group B is almost the same, almost the same as group A. Now what does that mean in terms of percentage? Same as group A. So I'll only make that statement. I hope you understand. That means more than, okay, or more than 75%. So this, if you take to the right of, uh, if you if you consider the data to the right of lower quartile, this is 75%. This is 75% of the data, and this is 50% of the, this is 50% of the data. To the left of median, you've got 50%. Though we can say, though uh, more than 75% of group B has greater reaction time than 50% of 50% uh, reaction time of group A.